When I started making YouTube videos three years ago, it's fair to say the footage was a bit shaky. I'd film with my phone handheld and there was no stabilization. Well, today we're going to be unboxing the product I wish I had. This is the Hoem iSteady MT2. It's a gimbal made for all cameras, DSLR, mirrorless, compact and smartphones. Not only that, but this stabilizer will follow you and be a cameraman for solo vloggers like myself, making it the perfect tool if you want to go on adventures and film what you do, but don't have a cameraman. The AI tracking in this will be your cameraman. I want to say a quick thank you to my friends at Hohem for sending me this product to unbox and review, but this video is not sponsored in any way and all opinions are my own honest opinions. So without further ado, let's see what's in the box. And first things first, let's take off the cellophane which is around the package. Okay, let's open it up at the bottom there. And I see we have a nice case inside. There it is. That is a very nice carry case. It's got a very nice handle and it's not too huge. This could fit in my backpack without taking all of the space. I'd still have room for my large wildlife cameras. Opening up the zip inside. Wow, we have lots of compartments as well. Okay, so we have some netting up the top here. And then we have some netting in here as well. In this top compartment. Wowzers. That is a lot of wires. We'll look at them in a minute. And then we have what looks like some instructions. Inside here we have a very substantial phone holder. Now that looks like very nice quality. It's metal and it has rubber inside. We have another bag. This has nuts and bolts and lots of connectors for mounting cameras and our Arca Swiss plate, which will attach the camera to the gimbal. Some Velcro holding that. Oh, no, we got more in this pocket. Hang on, we got a tripod here as well. And so here is, again, a nice, substantial, firm feeling tripod, which also folds up very small. I like the design of the uh, circle there with the triangle in the middle. It feels nice to hold and feels strong enough to hold the gimbal without having to worry. And there it is, the gimbal itself. Wow, it's awesome. Okay, so getting this bit first, a nice lot of Velcro, meaning you can hold things down. There we have the L bracket for holding cameras at different angles. I like this case in the way that these Velcro bits all attach and so you can use this to make modules in the case and store it how you like. And here is the gimbal itself. That is very satisfying to hold and it's actually not that heavy. I have to say I love the colour scheme going on here, the black and then the burnt orange. Burnt orange is one of my favorite colors. On the back here, I can see the controls. We will go into this in more detail in a bit. However, that joystick is awesome. The wheel, everything feels cool. We can see this top axle is spinning. There is a lock. There we go, we've locked the top axle. And we can unlock these axles and they will all start spinning. And finally, there is one more thing in the box. This is the AI tracker. So this is the camera and it's also a fill light that you can attach onto the gimbal. 
I believe I see its platform there. And that is what turns it into your cameraman. That means that the gimbal will be able to follow you wherever you go. It just pops on and off like magnets. It reminds me of the DJI Action 2. That has a magnetic build where the components will magnetize together, making it very easy to use. I'm gonna have to open this with a pair of scissors. And there we have a bunch of wires. Now there is a ton of wires here. What I'll do is I'll pop a list of wires on the screen now so you can see everything that comes in this bag. And finally, for the mounts for the different cameras. So we have an action camera mount. We have what looks like an extender where you can put in a three quarter screw and one's coming out the top as well. Not exactly sure where that would be used. And then we just have a three quarter screw for the bottom of a camera. And the first step to setting up the gimbal is to charge it. This gimbal has a 17 hour battery life and if you're running the fill light, a six hour battery life. I have the USB-C to USB here, which plugs into the side. It's nice and obviously marked as the charging port. I'm gonna get this charged up and then we can put it to the test. And for the past three hours, I've been testing every function and feature on the Hohem iSteady MT2. And I'm telling you, it can do a lot of things. First of all, it can connect to almost any camera. Mirrorless, compact, action and smartphones will go on this gimbal and are compatible. That makes it perfect for content creators who want to go out with all their equipment and shoot, whether that's a high quality documentary with their mirrorless cameras or just an easy vlog with a smartphone. The gimbal is also great for modern day content creators because you can switch between landscape and vertical shooting very easily. There's an L bracket with quick mount Arca Swiss plates and you can very quickly and easily switch between landscape shooting and portrait shooting. This means no matter what you're shooting for, whether it's Instagram, TikTok or YouTube, you can easily switch between the styles. I tested out the little AI tracker, which you can see here, and this works fantastically. You give it a little gesture and it will lock onto you. It will then track your movements wherever you go, allowing the gimbal to become your cameraman. Here you can see the clip where I tested it out. And it's time to test the tracking feature on this gimbal. Now there's gesture control and the gesture is a circle. Let's see, there we go. The gesture has been picked up by the AI and as you can see, the camera is now following me. Meaning I don't need a cameraman, but I have a camera doing the same thing. It doesn't matter where I walk, if I come all the way round, it's still going to follow me. This completely changes solo vlogging. It means that you can go out and be doing stuff with having both your hands free because normally you'd have to hold a camera, but you still get that sense of a cameraman and a camera following you, which is awesome when you're creating content. To stop the camera from following you, you just give it a hand sign and the light turns red, meaning the camera is not following you anymore. The great thing about this AI tracker is it's completely independent. You don't need an app or anything to make it run. All you need is the module, you clip it using the magnets onto the gimbal and it will work. It's straight into the gimbal. You don't need an app or any third party element to make it work. Not only that, but the AI tracker is also a fill light, meaning whether you're in the dark or not, you can add a bit of brightness to your video. You can do 
white down to like a yellow tone of white, so you can do the whole white scale, and you can go RGB, you can get reds, greens, blues, purples, pinks, you can get all the colours as well, so there is no limit to the creativity of that light. Most mirrorless cameras will be compatible with the Hohem gimbal. Check the compatibility in the list on Hohem's website and I'll link it in the description. This gimbal has a payload of 1.2 kilograms, which is incredible considering it only weighs 653 grams. That means you can use it with most mirrorless cameras and lens setups. There are many controls which you can find on the side and back of the gimbal. And although it appears complicated at first, Hohem provides tutorials which go through every step and it's actually pretty simple. You have a wheel on the side where you can roll or focus the camera you have on the gimbal. You also use that to control the light if you want to use the fill light on the AI tracker. On the back you have a joystick which you can use to navigate menus and control the gimbal itself. You have a mode button where you can scroll through the modes and a recording button which you can also use to zoom in and out when you're using a camera attached to the gimbal. There's a little A and B button on the side, meaning you can set a point A and a point B and the gimbal will effortlessly slide between point A and B. It can do it fast or you can put it on a slow mode. This is great if you want a perfectly smooth movement from one point to the other. The screen on the back of the gimbal will tell you everything you need to know. It will tell you the battery life and whether you're connected or not to the Bluetooth. It will tell you the mode you're in and the mode that the wheel is operating, whether that be the focus, the roll or the fill light. And on the front of the gimbal there is a trigger button where your index finger lies. If you press this three times, then the gimbal will rotate 180 degrees to face you. And that's great if you're vlogging. If you then want to stop vlogging, you can press it three more times and it will face away from you. If you press the trigger twice, it will centralize the gimbal. It'll recenter the camera you have. If you press it two times and then hold it, you'll enter sports mode. There's a ton of features. Again, you'll be walked through them in the tutorial. And finally, if you're trying to shoot with a device that's running low on battery, you can charge the device through the gimbal. There's a power output, so say your phone is running low on battery, you can plug it into the gimbal and the gimbal will charge your phone, meaning you can use both for a bit longer. Now this gimbal is definitely going to be coming with me on my vlogs, on my adventures and while I create content. It's going to enhance my workflow and hopefully you guys can appreciate everything it can do. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments down below. Hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and I will see you in the next one.